What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Trucker Style YouTube channel. And I am at my favorite restaurant over here in Miami, which happens to be at the Pilot Travel Center off 826 on uh, 27. Got coffee over here. You see that pork? That's what I just had. I had pork and rice. And I'm getting a burger made for later. But, yep, like the title of video shows, I had to uh, place one of the brake valves. So, there we go. Check it out. I'm back. Alright, you guys. So, this is the valve I was uh, talking about, the brake relay valve. I'll see if I can go in the cab real quick. Hit the brake. Y'all can see uh, what you're doing. Let's see. Can I prop y'all up over here or something? That'll work for now. So I'll be back with you in a minute. We're gonna change this thing out. I do not believe I can rebuild this one because it doesn't seem like the O-ring is split. It seems like something internal is, uh, has went bad, but I'll, uh, once I get it off, I'll show y'all another way to rebuild them if there is an internal damage in here. All right, you guys, we got the old valve off. These two are what hold it onto the bracket and the frame. Let's pull, uh, these last two off and see what the damage is inside. Alright, well, when pulling this off, you gotta be careful. There is a spring in there, so it is spring loaded. And if you are rebuilding it, then you gotta be careful not to lose anything. And on this tag right here, RV. 055. That's the style of brake valve we have. You know, recording with one hand and then taking these off is a pain in the butt. So you pull, relieve that pressure. Take the top off. No ring's not bad. That's not a problem. There's a plunger. Not too corroded. Inside, I mean, there's a little rust. The spring's not broken. Is it just leaking past the seal? Or, oh, there's our problem right there. A little piece of plastic broke off. That goes down right there in that hole, and that seals it from the exhaust. So, we have found our malfunction like I thought it's internal damage so this one we cannot rebuild unless we replace this plunger but I do not believe you can just buy the plunger so I'll be back right there with y'all once I get the new part but first we're at Miami Star so y'all can come check it out this is some of the stuff they have over here very cool See? Oh, I can go around. They have the cutaway. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. Real quick glimpse. Let's walk through here. I got to pay for it. The display one was the only one. Damn, we got to go all the way around. All right. all right you guys so let me put this on i got this one outside fittings aren't the same size and no one around has reducers so i'm taking all the guts out of this brand new one and putting them all in my old one i'll uh pull the diaphragm out 
center section, coke spray, everything you guys. Check back with y'all in a minute. Okay. Guys, so brand new, rebuilt in the old casing. See? All the brand new stuff off of the new one. I just swapped it over into the one that has the right size fittings I need. Such a shame, but yep, back using the old casing again, you guys. Yep. Not bad, not bad. SER4 E56. Yep. Use the new top cover and everything else, cleaned out the inside. Let's put it back on and make sure she works. Alright, you guys, the new valve is in. See? Works great. On with the outro. Y'all have a good day. Keep the rubber side down. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all.